Makoto Akutawira. In today's video lesson, we're going to be talking about expanding brackets. Now, when we see brackets, that means you're going to be multiplying. And when an expression has brackets, if you can simplify what's in the brackets, you would do that first, just like with our order of operations. So in this case, 4 times the quantity, 3 plus 5. Well, this 3 plus 5 can be simplified to 8. So 4 times 8 give us the 32. Now let's have a look. We would get the exact same result if we do it this way. So we've got 4 times 3, which would be 12, and then 4 times 5, which would be 20, those also add to 32. So if you can simplify what's in the brackets, do so. If not, the brackets mean multiply. Let's have a look at our next bit of problems. Okay, now we call this process expanding brackets. Each term inside the brackets is multiplied by the term that's outside. I want you to pause the video right now and write that into your notes along with this example. We have 6 times the quantity x plus y, which means this x plus y, we have 6 of them. But rather than write out x plus y plus 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 x plus y, we can multiply. 6 times x, 6x. 6 times y, 6y. Next one, 2 times the quantity c minus d. So everything inside the brackets is multiplied by what's before the brackets. 2 times c, 2c. 2 times minus d, minus 2d. Now you're ready for exercises 1501. Let's have a look at uh, this next one again. 6 times the quantity x minus y. 6 times x minus 6y, because everything inside the brackets has been multiplied by what's before the brackets. Now you're ready to try 1502. Now it is possible that the number in front of the brackets might be negative. So we have negative 3 times the quantity x plus y, and what we're training ourselves to look for here is the brackets mean to multiply. We have x plus y, but those are not like terms. They can't be added together. So we will have everything inside the brackets, namely the x plus y. Each one of those pieces will be, one at a time, multiplied by the negative 3. So negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times y, plus negative 3y. And saying plus a negative, you can just say minus. So negative 3x plus negative 3y is going to be the same thing as negative 3x minus 3y. All right, now you're going to be ready for exercises 1503. Now sometimes there are also numbers inside the brackets. These are multiplied by the number outside the brackets in the exact same way. So we have 2 times the quantity x plus 3. That means 2 times x, which gives us 2x, and then 2 times 3, which gives us 6. Let's try one that has some negatives in there as well. So we have negative 4 times the quantity x minus 6. When you see brackets, that means that everything inside the brackets is multiplied by what's before the brackets. So negative 4 times x, right there, negative 4x. And then negative 4 times negative 6, and a negative times a negative is a positive. Negative 4x plus 24. Now this diagram should help you to see how the expanding process works. Brackets mean multiply, so everything inside the brackets is multiplied by what's before the brackets. 10 times x is 10x, and then 10 times 5 gives us 50. You're now ready for exercises 1504, Maori Mahi, Maori Ora, Kakiteano.